day 355 in Kamona, I was heading up to the north, in the hope to find the secret document finally, because my friend Zack Rex, he reported that he recently found two of them in the hotel. Unfortunately, my random teammates didn't support me, they decided to go somewhere else. Very soon after arriving, I was facing a three-man squad. I sneaked up on them and luckily, and when I say luckily, I mean that I got the first kill. The other two guys were already upstairs and this was the first time ever my self-revive kit actually saved my life. I was really happy about the kill but after that I played like a pussy. I didn't want to push them, I was afraid that I'm gonna lose my stuff, I'm gonna lose the loot I already have. Therefore I stayed in the dark, I wanted to flank them but I was so sneaky and so slow that by the time I got behind them they were already gone. All I found was another drop body with a T4 helmet, so I grabbed that and started going to the extraction. I didn't even make 200,000 profit in this game, but hey, at least I survived. Since my MPX kept me alive in the first game, I didn't want to change that. I put everything I found into my storage and started attacking the Norwich Hotel again. At least this time my team was supporting me so I didn't have to conquer the whole hotel alone and I heard footsteps from the third floor, my teammate even reported that there are two people inside. So I was making my way up to the third floor and said to myself, come on, bring it on, I can, I can handle that situation. And actually, I just met one guy, but that one guy I destroyed so hard with the MPX. It was a clean shot straight into his face after zooming. Not just one shot, multiple shots basically destroying his face. Unfortunately, except some purple items, I didn't find anything valuable in the hotel, so I started extracting. However, on my way out, it happened again. I was killing some bots and automatically reloaded my MPX. And since my rig and my bag was full, my magazine fell to the ground. And I'm not joking, I spent 10 minutes searching for that magazine until I could finally find it. Note for myself, always remind yourself if you are reloading and your rig and your bag is full, otherwise you're gonna lose that. I extracted with 216,000, which is not that bad, but I'm still waiting for that game. That game, which is gonna make me rich. In the third game, I was putting the MPX into action again, and since I had a lovely spawn, I thought that this is the time where I can rush the saves and make myself rich. Unfortunately, again nothing. Just purple items and trash items. When I was on the third floor, I was pretty confident that somebody's gonna come from the cinema side. I started hearing footsteps and I was absolutely confident that it's gonna be an easy kill. I was peeking from the stairs, but then I got destroyed so hard because usually I have the assumption that I'm better, faster, smarter, but Mr. Dante, legend player, he was expecting me and basically he shot my head off. Since I lost my MPX, I took my time to put together a nice AN-94 because actually I like that gun. I think it's not super expensive anymore and it has decent firepower. So with that new gun I started the game and my spawn wasn't ideal. I was pretty far away from the hotel and while I was running to the hotel, I was actually thinking what the best method is to avoid snipers. Is it just that you run straight to the hotel, should you stop, should you check your surroundings. Zachfrax is usually zooming and checking the area and this time it was a deadly mistake because a sniper called Supra killed me and I didn't even have a chance to shoot one single bullet from this lovely AN-94 which cost me approximately 75,000 so I felt miserable. But hey, dying two times in a row is not the end of the world. So I equipped myself with the F2000, which I got from game one. And this time I had a better spawn, a spawn that was more near to the hotel. So I was rushing the hotel and I heard gunshots. I heard that some activity is already going on. And I thought that I'm going to be lucky and see somebody on the bridge from building D to C. But instead of spawning an enemy, I got an instant headshot from somebody from the third floor. 
I was truly not expecting to have a squad at this time in the game already being on the third floor. I was devastated, but not just because I lost three games in a row, but also because I knew that my balance is already negative, and despite of successfully extracting twice at the beginning of the session, I knew that I'm down with at least 300,000 coin after this game. Game 6 was interesting because there was already a party happening on the third floor by the time I got to the hotel or to be more precise I got to the private lounge area. Two teams already fought each other so I was facing the winning squad and fortunately I could kill both of them. By the way I realized that after losing a couple of games I pick up the AK-74N because I just don't want to lose too much. And the AK-74N is still a pretty decent gun, but you don't have to pay 70,000 for it. So for a nice 50k you get something that can do destruction. It's not the best gun in the game, but hey, sometimes we just need to go two steps back to make sure that we are not getting bankrupt. After approximately 2000 hours of looting and tetrising, I was finally ready to open the rooms that have not been opened yet. And guess what? I found a red hit indicator that somebody is shooting me and I was dead. That Japanese guy was sneaking on me and by the time I realized that somebody is shooting, I was already dead. So welcome failure number four because this was the fourth game I lost in a row. Game number seven though was crazy. I equipped myself with an M110, which is not the most ideal choice if you are trying to rush the hotel. But hey, I really need to note this down to make sure that I remember in the future if I look back that I had nice moments with the M110 because kill number one and kill number two, those were kills I'm actually proud of. I was sniping again from the end of the corridor and my clueless targets didn't realize anything, just one thing to be more precise, a headshot and the fact that they are dead. But this is not the end of the story because this game turned into a real bloodbath. I mean there is no blood in arena breakout, but still if I had to describe this game with one single word, then it would be bloodbath. Clueless enemies were coming one after another, another, and in total I had 6 kills and I didn't even have to move that much. I was staying there on that corridor in building B and I wasn't ratting. It was just that people kept coming and all I had to do is to kill them. I think the last guy simply ran away. Maybe he was seeing that all of his teammates are dead and he didn't want to face that monster called Shady. Unfortunately the guys I killed didn't carry too high valued equipment but I could pick up some scopes, some magazines, some ammunition and then I hoped that in one of the locked rooms I'm gonna find the red item. Or a secret document even, but nothing. I was checking B203, lunch 2, private lunch, I even got the free save. I was checking everything and when I was entering the cinema projection room, you know you have that feeling that this is the last chance, this is the last save you're gonna open and you have high hopes, you always feel that this is gonna be it. And then bang, that devastating feeling when you see that trash purple item again. Anyways, I was extracting with 333,000 and I had 6 kills so my confidence level got boosted again and this is how I went into game 8. Recently what I started doing when I spawn near to the hotel is that I don't even fight the bots. I just ran past them because usually they don't hit me so I'm not receiving any damage, I don't have to waste time. I don't have to waste ammunition and I can start running straight to the first safe. My teammate was reporting that he got into trouble outside of the hotel. I don't know why he stayed outside by the way, but this was the very first time that I was seeing enemies from the staircase from the third floor. And my expectation was that I have three targets, I'm gonna do three shots and I kill all of them and then happy looting we all extract with a fortune. 
reality was that I started shooting like a chicken, like back, 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 back. But at least I could kill one of them. I checked after the game that out of those three enemies, that was the guy who had absolutely trash loadout. But anyways, that's a different story. I was proud that I had at least one kill. While I was having the sniper dance, one of my random teammates found a ways. Yes, a vase. He wrote in the chat that he got a vase, so he wants to extract. I think he found it in the free safe, and that free safe is never mine because it's always being checked by one of the randoms. But anyways, because of that, I ended up being alone in the hotel, and there was somebody approaching from the cinema side. I had to fight that guy, and he was doing that mistake I'm usually doing. So he was peeking twice, and I was really proud that this time it was not me doing this mistake. We'd already two kills in my bag and that lovely rpk i was expecting that those guys who were running in the distance sooner or later are gonna arrive to the hotel and that was the case i started hearing footsteps from outside of the wall and i was like mm, okay here's gonna be my third kill it's gonna be an easy kill because i'm on the third floor and they're gonna have no clue where the shots are coming from so i was peeking the window and surprise, surprise, I got killed by that guy who I thought was gonna be a free kill. He was looking straight into my eyes, straight at that window, and he destroyed me. So this is how game 8 ended, but I didn't give up. I started the new game with an M4 I picked up in game 6, if I remember correctly. And my way to the hotel was pretty smooth. And surprisingly, after arriving to the reception, I started hearing footsteps from building A. And that is not a common place to hang around usually. But there was a full squad and I was smashing enemies one after the other. Actually, I just had two kills. But I was really proud because I started doing something I usually don't do. I was pre-shooting. I didn't just shoot when I saw the enemy, but I was shooting at the corner in the hope that I'm gonna get a kill. I didn't get any kills because of that, but inside I was feeling that I got one step closer to becoming a professional player in this game. This fight lasted forever because those two guys who were still remaining, they just literally didn't move from their position. And I was not stupid enough this time to push them. I was waiting. I still had two teammates. One of them wanted to flank them from behind. And I saw based on the chat messages that the other guy is becoming impatient. So I told myself, Shady, this time you shouldn't be the one pushing because even if you get a kill, you're gonna die. So I stayed behind and my green teammate was the one who started pushing. He could get a kill, but he got killed by the fourth enemy guy. We both knew where the last enemy is located. It was on the right hand side. My teammate kept saying, throw grenades, throw grenades. Well, if I would have any nades, my boy, I would have already thrown them, but I didn't have any. But it was actually a nice callout. Because of that, I started checking the enemy bodies and I found a GHO and an M67, which was perfectly enough to destroy that last guy. And that guy actually had a pretty nice T6 helmet. So I found myself a full, some nice attachments, ammunition, magazines, and all I had to do was to search the hotel, open the locked rooms and find a red item. But I didn't. Again, I didn't. No secret document. I'm not even dreaming of a secret document anymore. I just wanted to have at least one red item, but I didn't find any. And to summarize my trip to Northridge, let me note down the results. Overall, Coin lost approximately 800 up to 900,000 because of 5 deaths. Total loot value 1.146 million, so the overall profit is approximately 250,000 coin, which is actually not true because during the session I had to buy myself new keys, for example the private lunch key and another key, so basically the profit I made is zero. Out of 9 games I extracted successfully 4 times and I killed a total of 16 operators and I didn't do any profit. Drive better next time, Shady.